Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Now, it's not going to be a long episode today, I hope not anyway. So I have a stream to prepare for this evening. Uh, I am recording this on the Wednesday and I've got a, uh, a stream happening at 6pm. Uh, it is Planet Zoo for those of you who don't know. Um, so today's episode is kind of just going to be a little bit of a, a filler in more ways than one. First of all, it's going to fill the gaps nicely between last week's episode and uh, next week's episode. And it's also going to fill a little gap on our network as well. Something that's kind of been bugging me, bothering me for a little while, however you want to say it. Uh, and it's to do with these. So these little passenger trains here, you might notice something about them by the way. They are little pannier tanks now. Lovely stuff. Uh, I was browsing Reddit the other day and I saw someone posted some screenshots of their network and uh, in the title they mentioned about panniers being on the way. Uh, so the guy who made the GWR engines, JK, has now created some, uh, some pannier tanks as well. And I must admit, these are stunning little machines. There are 13 in total. There are saddle tanks as well as panniers. Um, and they're from all different eras. I think... Uh, is it this one? Yeah, this one's the open cab variant. Um, you see there, there's a gap. We've also got this one, which is the closed cab variant. Uh, they have a top speed of 45 miles an hour, which I was a little bit disappointed about. So, um, I've currently replaced this service, which is the Poulton to Richmond, and also the Richmond to Newton Acliffe and the Newton Acliffe to Richmond. They've all been replaced with panniers. For the time being, I think these are the only ones that are actually going to be replaced. The rest I'm probably going to leave as is for now. Uh, I'm just looking around here as well to see what's going on over here at Poulton. I was debating getting a, a bus or something from Poulton to Corby. Because... Uh, Corby is still very much unconnected, so I think I will do that, but that's not today. Today, I'm going to plug a gap on this network that's probably going to help with rerouting stuff as well. I'm trying, was last episode? One sec, the, the audio might pause for a second. Uh, or maybe it hasn't, that's good. So if I scooch over here, last week's episode was, oh no, last week's episode was Reaching the South, of course it was, two weeks ago, Financial Rerouting where we built the um, the line up through what have we got St. Helens and places like that from Wokingham up to uh, Blackburn and it seems to be very very lucrative I'm also tempted here so from Wimborne I'm tempted to have the main line continue this way and then maybe build a new station at Blackburn but I don't know that might be a future problem as well, because Blackburn is a teeny tiny station now for the amount of traffic that actually goes through it. And by the end of today's episode, we might even have more traffic running through it. Because what I want to do today is connect up, I think, the last sort of central town that hasn't got a rail connection. So Downham technically doesn't either. Neither does New Mills, actually. Yeovil does via the bus. Uh, and your Toxeter, it's not far from Maltby. But I want to build another line up to Maltby anyway, so that's that plays in there quite nicely. But I want to build a new line. I've said that like five times now, but I'm actually going to tell you where it's going to run. So it's going to start at Luton, and it's going to follow the conventional railway out here. And then when we get to... Why are they all waiting here, by the way? We seem to have a queue. That's not good. What are you queuing for? Oh, I see what's... Yeah, I think I see what's happening here. First of all, I don't think we need this many trains on this route, so I'm going to sell a couple. Uh, if I untick that. I think I might sell just the one, actually. I don't think we need six. I think five's enough. It's still a relatively long route, so it's no biggie. But yeah, these should, um, should get going now. I think it was just waiting for access to the platform, whereas now it has it all. Oh, hang on. What now? Oh, I had this earlier. What's going on here? It seems to be running into this platform and then has nowhere to go. Oh, hello. Uh, I think... Some of my routing here is a little off. So I'll see if I can get that. Actually, while I'm here... See if I can get this set up too. Uh, Q. 
keep overhead. There we go. And then grab this one and we'll bring you down like so. Yeah, nice. Uh, and I'll also remove these two signals because we don't need them anymore. So yeah, I had this problem with um, this train. It seems to run into the wrong platform. No idea what's going on there. So where are you going? Is that the platform you chose to run into? Hang on. It is as well. Uh, that needs to change too. Ha! Huh. Hang on, let me see if I can uh, fix that one. Because that's definitely the wrong platform. So Maltby Parkway. This might be part of the problem, actually. Maltby Parkway, I want you on platform two. Uh, or four, actually. Platform four, which I think is this one and is this one. Now, you seem to have a problem getting out after. So to get from here to Framlingham, where's the issue? There isn't one. Oh, the issue is going to be with this train now, isn't it? Yeah, that's fine. We'll just get you to run back, and you'll drop your passengers off, and we'll start again. Sorry, guys. The the the, the line that I want to build today is going to run from Luton, and it's going to run along the conventional track. But then when we get to this triangular junction here, it's going to branch off. And it's going to head up through Hatfield via a new station, probably on the hillside here. Maybe even called Hatfield Hillside. And then we're going to keep running up along the road here to Sedgefield. And then uh, all the way along this way to Newton Acliffe with perhaps a branch heading over to, um, to Camelford. I don't know about that yet, but definitely Sedgefield. And then down to Newton Acliffe. And then here we're going to join up with both the main running line here up to uh, down in Wimborne and also we're going to build a triangular junction that loops around and connects up to M4J Junction. That's the plan. That's what I aim to do today. We've got money for days so I don't need to worry about that. Uh, so let's get on with it. Let's actually start doing some building. So first things first, let's get the station here at Hatfield um, up and running. No catenary. Uh, I think we'll go with maybe like a 120 for now. We can always extend the station in future. We'll build it around like this and we'll elevate it. A bit like this. Now a lot of this track is actually going to be... Oh, sorry, a lot of this line is actually going to be single track. So it, it, um, it will help to... Uh, to get smaller stations in and it's it's basically be run by you know auto trains and things like that uh is there really a tunnel coming out of here that's oh there you go now we're going downhill it's kind of built there in a really weird place but it is what it is we'll get the parallel tracks in so there'll be passing loops probably each station actually will have a passing loop that would make sense um, but otherwise it's pretty much as you'd expect. This is a... It's more of a diversionary line than anything else. I just realised I should probably, at this point... Actually, this, this whole thing might be redone. So I'm going to just take it back now. Save myself a little bit of time. Um, it's a diversionary route. Some freight trains might use it, but ultimately it is not a main line. It's not the same as what we built the other week. Uh, this is very much different to that. Now, can I squeeze this out? The answer is yes. Now, do I want it all converging at the same point here? I think I do. But I also want to check. I just want to see what's going on here again. Trains are moving. I think the problem is you're trying to get into this platform. You're having to wait for that train to get out of the way, and then this train's going to have to wait for that train to get out of the way, and so so on and so forth. So that one's now stopped. This one's moving forward. What are you? You're empty. It's not good, is it? This one will eventually then move forward, and yeah. So it's a bit of a mess. Um, that's actually one of the things I'm going to try and help out with here, is removing some of the passenger services that are using this line that don't need to be, basically. 
So I reckon from here we can build this out and round. A bit like this. Build it flat from here. And again, this is a branch line, so it doesn't have to be the highest of speeds. We know that the trains operating on it pretty much have a top speed of um, 45 miles an hour. So a 42 mile an hour curve here is not the be all and end all. At this point here, we'll have it drop down slightly, but we'll follow the contours of the land. Like so. And then here is where it will become single track. And it will run down and around like this. Actually, again, doubting myself. So here, we're going to have it come around like this. There. And then at this point, it will become single track. And we want it to kind of get as close to the road as possible. Bearing in mind, we've got to swing up again that way. Okay, that's fine. This here can then dip in. Like so. There we go. And then from here, uh, this will come around like this. Now I'm hoping we can connect from this line to that line. Yes, we can. Good stuff. That was uh, the bit I was worried about, actually. So I'm glad that works. And then we'll get this connected up. Like so. This will be like that. And then out of Hatfield, where are we going next? We're going to Sedgefield, aren't we? And I think Sedgefield, we might have the station on the east side. But then this is also where the branch up to Red Ruth potentially might be. So... I think we will stick to the west side, actually. Actually, no, no, no. We will have the, we'll build it at the east side. Ugh, I really don't know. That's the problem. I think it's going to have to be on the west side. I think it is actually going to have to be on this west side. Now, this side, we want it to be a three-platform station. We're going to have a little um, bay platform. I think before I do that, though, I'm going to have to build in this. Like so. And then this one. I might have this at the head of the road here, actually. Like that. There we go. I can definitely see this becoming a um, heritage line. Even once everything else around the uh, the map here has been upgraded, I can still see this sticking around as a little heritage railway. I think that would be pretty cool. If I get this sorted... There we go. Do we get a level crossing with parallel tracks? We do not. Actually, we don't need that anyway. I think we're going to just do it here. I don't know. <laughs> what a weird noise. Because um, this line is going to come off this way. I know that. In fact, it might even come out this side. Like this. And that's going to follow the road. So I want a track from here that's going to join up to this track. like that. That's perfect. This one is also going to come round like this, but then also from here. Oh, there you go. I'm going to hook along like that. There we go. And on this side, everything else will connect up and this might even be a passing loop and stuff. So there's Hatfield. Sedgefield is now done. Newton Acliffe is going to get its own station as well. But before I do that, I just want to say or see how this is going to work. I think something like this. To get to the road as quickly as possible, which is all the way over here. So I 
I reckon like that. And then that side, oops, around like that. And I think, is this the road? It actually isn't, but I think from here. Oh, I don't know that actually. No, no, no. Hang on. Take this back. Here's where we're going to cross this road. Hopefully via a level crossing. There we are. Which... Yeah. That is very weird, but it should work for now. How the heck am I going to do this? Two track? That cuts into the track. So these got to be like that. I don't like that. I don't like that for a number of reasons. So maybe we're not going to run it alongside the road. Maybe we are just going to cut across the road. Maybe even here we'll cut across the road. Bring it round and you're just going to go straight across like this. Like that. And then here, you're going to come around this way. Okay. That's that side sorted. Let's connect Hatfield and Sedgwick. Uh, Sedgefield. Don't know where I got Sedgwick from. Sedgwick even a place? I don't know if it's a place. I'm sure I've heard of a place called Sedgwick. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I was afraid of this happening as well. We've got a huge embankment here, which I don't like. So we want there to be a climb up to uh, to Hatfield here. So this track here, we're going to slope down. Like so. And like so. Okay, and then this part here, I think we are going to run alongside the road. Like that. That's all well and good. And then connect this up like that. Lovely. We are going to build a little uh, road up here to Hatfield Station. Hatfield Hillside. So we've got Hatfield Hillside and Hatfield Riverside are the two stations serving Hatfield, which I think is quite fitting. Is that the same level? Yes, it is. Uh, but I want this to be flat. Same on... Oops. Same on this side. There we go. And then uh, this road is going to connect to this road. And I guess this road is going to connect up to this one. like that and then we'll build a new new bus route that somehow connects it all up I don't know right now to be honest we could just extend this tram line that might work better in fact so I think we'll just do that can I do that now first of all let's turn that off and then we'll do it this way overhead yeah sure so I think I'm gonna reroute the tram something like that so we're serving pretty much the entirety of Hatfield then which is great uh, so we've connected Luton to Hatfield Hatfield to Sedgefield now we've got to connect oh no we haven't connected Hatfield to Sedgefield no we have not that's what we're doing now whilst keeping a very close eye on earnings to make sure we're not spending too much money We've also got planes just flying here, there, and everywhere, so I might see if I can upgrade the aircraft at some point, because I think that's something that badly needs doing. Okay, so to get to Sedgefield, we need to curve sharply this way. And then sharply this way. I'm going to connect it up like this. 
I'm going to say two track there. Because we are going to run a parallel track to it. I think this is going to very briefly be a double track section here. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do this. So yeah, this, this bit here is going to very briefly be double track. Because this is approximately halfway down the route. So I think just before this level crossing up here is where the double track section is going to end. Something like this. Bearing in mind if we do use this for freight bypassing and stuff like that, then we need to make sure that um, you know freight can actually bypass. Then we're going to build a crossover like this. And then hopefully... Oh, there we go. Like so. There we are. We might even have some trains terminate here. Or they'll just run up the branch directly to um, to Red Roof. Okay, so now we've curved around this way. We've curved around this way. Newton A Cliff is going to get a station. And to be honest, I might just build it along this road here and connect it up to this tram. Or we'll build a new street along the back like this. And we'll build the railway on this road. But it will still technically connect up to the tram because of that. What on earth was that? Some notification in my ear. Apologies for that. Two track. Just like that. Cool. And um, we might do something similar here where this level crossing will be single track. Uh, it's got to be that. Now, to my knowledge, you can't build a set of points. No, you cannot. So, to be honest, I might just go like this and then we'll join it up on the other side. Just like that. And then, I guess, we'll do the same thing on this side as well. Build it straight out like so. Build it like that. This little bit of track like this. Really weird. I don't know why the gate has to dig in like that. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I think I'll uh, I'll look past it for now. And then uh, from here, actually, we want to curve to the left here. Now, this part might also remain double track. But purely for the reason that in a second... So I think if I build it to like th here, what do you reckon? If I was to build a crossover here, no? Oh, there. There we are. And then could I get one? Like if I was to go. Slow, really. So actually, if it wasn't for that mod, I would be able to build this right now. Which makes me think I want to turn that mod off. Quite badly. Although that works. As a temporary measure, that works. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, is so that at this point here, I can build out and round. And this is going to be our connection on this side to this branch line. Just kind of kind of come like this, and then it's going to scooch round, and it's going to connect up like that. That's the plan. Get the little gates in. They, these gates look so stupid, but it does work, so I'm just going to go with it. And then this is going to come around to here, and at this point it's going to curve off and around, whoops, like this. There we are. And somehow, 
I'm wondering if there's a possibility. I, there kind of is. If I was to grab this, and if we had another street access side entrance on this side of things. And then if we connected, where is that one? There it is. Connected you up like that. I reckon we could build a bay platform here. If I remove that. So you, you're all still connected, which is good. That's the main thing. So I can now remove this. I think we will still connect it into the uh, the main track, but just as a a temporary measure, that should be perfect, like that. And I might even here see about getting that connected up like so. I might build a second connection if it lets me. No? Like this. Which actually seems kind of wasteful. I could just build this as a double slip. It just it slows down a lot. But that's that's not the worst thing to come out of this, I suppose. So I'll stick with it, it's fine. This can then connect up like that looks awful. Do it like that. And then for now this is just gonna run alongside the main line here. We will deviate it away a little bit. I think we're gonna run down this side of the uh, the coffee farm here. Just for, well, just so that it's not running parallel the entire way, basically. So we'll bring it around like this, cross this road like so. Again, we'll get the derpy gate. Yeah, perfect. And then you're going to come along the back of this coffee farm. Now, we're not going to tunnel through all of this hill. Or are we? If I was to just build it straight along like this, first of all, it's incredibly expensive. Well, that's not too bad. I can think of worse ways of doing it. Either that or we continue... So, this road here... Route, road, whatever you want to call it. Can continue around like this. And then we go... from here and connect up. That's fine. That works. This can then go like that. This one can then come around like this. Yeah, I'm happy with that. This should all now be connected up and working. So we can run trains in and out of M4J Junction. Which is awesome. Do I have a signal around here somewhere? Oh yeah, it's a little shunt signal there. That's fine. That's no worries. Um, I was tempted to try and connect something up over here, but this is just freight only for now, so it doesn't. I didn't see the point. But speaking of freight only and stuff, I do need to get a track from from the freight platforms over here. Connected up to this line over here, I think. Maybe. This station might need a bit of a rebuild. That's what I'm seeing right now. So let's remove that. So this is all fine. Apart from, that's a little bit kinked there, that track. But I've seen worse, believe me. Um, so I do want to get a line from here... Oh, that train's coming in at a fair old rate of knots, isn't it? Look at that. So if 
I do that... Actually, right, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Let's redo this bit as well for a second. So from here, I need to get a line right the way across to this side. And then from over here, I need to do the same thing. Now, I reckon I can do it from this track here. We can get it right over. Like that. Okay. And then this line here is going to be a double slip. And this one here is going to be a double slip. And that's so that freight trains can access this section of track. On this side, uh, that one and that one need to be double slips. And then for this section here, we're just going to go with the old style crossover. There. Okay, that should work. Uh, do I want a passing loop? somewhere on this section. I don't know, because we've got quite a long one here, actually. We still need to link Newton Acliffe up to um, Sedgefield. So that line comes down here. These industries as well, around here, it would be cool if we could link some of these up. That's another reason why this railway exists. Uh, especially if I went past this, we could have a, a freight terminal down here. Because after all, that's what the railways were originally built for, wasn't it? To, um, to carry goods. And then passengers came along and they went, we'll take them too. So if I build this across like this, we'll go with this style level crossing. I can definitely see this getting upgraded in the future. Uh, and then we'll just follow the river for a little bit. I think that's fine. At this point here, we'll start turning back inland. And what weird angle have we got here to deal with? I mean, that one works. That's fine. Cool. And then uh, up and around this way. And you'll connect up like that. No tunnel, I don't believe. Nope. Good. Okay. I'm going to join you up. So then this here, we're going to use semaphores, obviously. Auto signal, yes. We don't need one here technically, so I'm going to go as close to there as possible. Cool. Turn auto sig off. Place you. Turn auto sig back on. Obviously, we're going to remove this one. going to remove this one and then we're going to add one back in on this side of the level crossing there we are uh everything over here is fine i will say though that we are going to stop traffic here uh so i am going to put a signal there i also have made a colossal error and i forgot to make these one way which i really think should be the default but what do you know there we go. Don't need one on that side. That's fine. Uh, so we'll follow the line over here to Sedgefield, where we don't need one on this side, but we do on this side. Again, one way, yes. Auto sig on. We'll place you down like that. Turn auto sig off. we go and then I will have one this side of the, uh, the level crossing hopefully we don't have too many long freight trains coming down here because that will block the track uh, the block the level crossing sorry not the track this side uh, I will actually have one each side of the station here oh auto save gives me a second to recalibrate
Here we go. There we are. And then this side uh, down here. Like so. And then up here, of course, we need one there. And we need one over this side. There. Okay. So the plan is to start at Luton. I think we have a platform spare. Do we have a platform spare? No, we don't. But I don't think this is needed anymore. My god, this is awful. This set of queues over here. They are still is still all necessary. I don't know why the game's paused either. I'll unpause that. I think it's because I've got traffic lights here. I've got traffic lights here as well, plus we've got the level crossing here as well, of course. Um, so I, I hope I'm not making a mistake if I disconnect this. Hopefully not. And I should be able to get some track in. Like this. Now I believe this is also platform track, so I'm going to build it in like so. Is this platform track actually? It might not be. I oh, know it is. Yeah, you can see quite clearly there it is. Uh, so, this bit here. I'm going to do it quickly before it kicks up a huge fuss. I'm going to drag you across like so. You're going to be a double slip. There we are. That's how trains are going to access this new platform. So the uh, the option is there still to extend these platforms in the future if we need to. How many have you got on board? Not many, actually. So that's that actually works kind of well. These trains are so slow at accelerating. Powerful, but slow. How many do we have on Crayford to Luton, actually? My God. Yeah, we don't need that many. I'm going to remove some of those. Uh, I think three of them are going to be shifted over to this new route that we're about to build. So... Let's get that done now before I forget. So, Luton, you're going to come in on platform three. No. Do I mean platform three? One sec. Do I mean platform three? I mean platform one. Apparently, that's platform one. Who knew? Uh, and then we're going to come up to Hatfield here, where we're going to stop. So, it's Hatfield Branch at the moment, but it's not what the name is going to remain. Over to Sedgefield. Up to Newton A Cliff. And then finally down on Wimborne. Where it's automatically come in on the uh, the right platform. But for some reason it's going back this way via M4J Junction, which is weird. So we'll turn that around. So you're gonna come back via Newton A Cliff, back via Sedgefield, back via Hatfield. Now, I believe everything is correct here. Let me just check Luton. Have we got the right platform over here at Luton? We have. Excellent. So, Luton, Hatfield, up to Sedgefield, where we should be coming in on the left-hand side both times, and we are. Then we come over to Newton A Cliff, where we come in on the left-hand side both times, which we are. And then finally up to Down and Wimborne. So, this is Luton to Downham. Uh, Wimborne. There we are. We need some trains. Let's get some trains. So we got some left over from. Uh, well, we got left. We got more than we need on this Crayford to Luton line. So let's grab this one for a starter. And you want to go Luton to Down and Wimborne. Are there any others coming in behind that we could? Uh, convert over as well possibly where are you going you are actually on that line which is fine but you're heading in the wrong direction so this one here we're also going to convert over like so I think we'll use just these two to get started and then we'll come back also this signal shouldn't exist there we are don't know why that truck thought it could make it there, but technically it did. Still. 
So you are heading towards Hatfield Branch now. You're empty. Do we have any passengers yet waiting for this line? No, we do not. I wasn't expecting us to, so that's fine. Now, heading over... Oh, do we have more actually coming in? That's a freight train. That's the trams down there. I don't think we do. Because you're heading the other way, which... Seem to have a queue this way as well to get to Bridge House. What is going on here? Ah, oh, it's just, yeah. It's, it's, it's the fact we've got quite a lot of freight traffic coming through here as well. We are working, or I am working on fixing that. Rerouting freight trains onto dedicated freight tracks, that kind of thing. Mind you, I mean, look at the size of Luton. It's actually massive now. We're going to need some more bus lines. Also, the size of that hill. Crikey. Uh, right. Let's end off then by fixing this. So you're not Hatfield Branch anymore. You're Hatfield Hillside. And then we're going to get a new tram stop. Which will stick just there. And I'm going to place another one um, up here. And then another one... Uh, actually, if I have one here, one here, and then another one maybe... I don't know. Actually, I could just have one here. And we'll get rid of that one. So now, Hatfield Tram. So you're going to start off at Victoria Road still. That's fine. But then after that, we need you to go here, here... Here, here. There we are. And this road here is just going to be normal street now. Cool stuff. Uh, Luton needs sorting out as well. We'll do that in a little bit. Actually, I might do that off camera, that one, just to, uh, to save a little bit of time. And then finally, Sedgefield. Uh, actually, Newton Acliff, that one needs extending as well. I'll come back to that one too. Alright, let's build the, uh, the road depot out of town over here. New line. There, 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 and there. You are Sedgefield. S-E-D-G-E-F-I-E-L-D -E -E uh, Bus Thought I'd spell bus wrong then, but no There's no Y in bus Sounds like one of those weird motivational things But I promise you there's no Y in bus We'll get the new one as well on this one, why not? Sedgefield Bus Now Newton A Cliff Uh, actually, we don't need to do anything with this one because, yeah, I built the station near. And actually, we've got passengers waiting for it as well, which is fantastic. Good stuff. Um, I do want another line, actually, quickly, if I can do it. So, where's the... Um... It's over here, isn't it? Yeah. So, if I could actually get this like that, maybe. I don't know. That might be too excessive. Uh, but sure, surely I can get a service from here to M4J Junction via Newton Acliffe. That might be a bit excessive, actually. That might be a bit excessive. But I do want something. Maybe once um, the Red Ruth branch is up as well, we could go Red Ruth, Sedgefield, reverse to M4J, and then back again. Because right now, if you take the diversionary route through all of this, you have to go either to Blackburn or to Wokingham to get to M4J and that seems a bit dumb so that might be the way around instead do we have anyone waiting for the new line not yet I'm gonna keep an eye actually because I want one more train operating this line what are you your freight I'm a bit worried about this queue still because the rebuild of bridge house was supposed to stop all this but it doesn't seem to have worked or it has worked, but not to the extent I wanted it to. What are you even waiting for? Oh, there's a train in your platform. 
Fair enough. And you can't leave yet because this one's crossing over to head down to Holsworthy, right? Yes. Okay, so in a second that train will be able to depart and all should be fine again. I hope. Oh no, wait, because we've got to wait for this one now. It's fine. It'll be fine, guys. It'll be fine. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, oh, one more thing I want to do, actually, before I uh, sign off. So I do want to have a look at more Crayford to, to Luton trains here. For example, where are you? You're heading towards Bridge House. You are heading towards Marston Mortain. You are heading... Oops. You're heading to Crayford. You're heading to Bridge House. Now, can I... If I was to grab that one, I don't think it would work. I need one that's heading... Ah, here we go. So grab you. You are now on Luton to, um, to Downham. Now, you might have to go the long way around, but that's fine. You're also heading to Bridge House, and you haven't got anyone on board. So let's get you transferred over as well. There you go. You're also heading to Newton Aycliffe. One more thing then. I want cheaper running trains. Because that's doing very, very good for our bank balance down here. So we're going to replace these with that and that. And then steam. We want uh, the panniers. Now, this is the first one up here. The 1076. We've got 1854. Uh, are these, that's, can't that's I say these years. That's not a year. That might be a year, but I don't think it is. And then we got the 5700s, and then we got the 8750s. Now, or the 8750s. The 57, so from my, I did some research earlier uh, as to what locos actually haul. Where are we? Um... Yeah, auto-fitted locomotives. So there's the 455 class, the 517s, then the 1076s, of which these are, and then the 21, uh, 2021s, the 4575s, the 4800s, the 5400s, and the 6400s. So I've, I've tried to keep it realistic, but also keep it, you know, operational and, and make it look good and stuff like that. So I'm going to go with these ones. And we're going to get this. Have I got another? Yeah, rear brakes. So you hold 48. If I can get this style, I think that would look cool. I try and get the rear brakes because they look like uh, driving cars. And I think that works well. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to grab you. And I'm going to pin you. And most importantly, I'm going to follow you to check that you're actually making money and working well. But yeah, that will do it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series. I'm just looking to see if there's a back window there. I think there is. So that does actually look like a driving car, which is cool. Um, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.